Hello everyone, welcome to the last episode of the Real Estate Mindset Investor. It's the last episode of this particular series. The idea in this series was to introduce concepts of the mind, some of them that you may have heard of, some of them maybe not, but in very short form, just a simple introduction of all of the ideas that are required to have the right mindset in the, in the right ideas in order for us to achieve whatever that it is that we want to achieve. In other words, all of these ideas put together gives us a holistic perspective of everything that we need to take into consideration. There's more to it, of course. I may have missed a couple of things here and there, but this is a lifetime journey for me. So I'm hoping to share more and more in that as, as we go along. So I'm going to end this episode or this series of the Real Estate Mindset Investor with the vacuum law of prosperity. It's called vacuum because you need to create a space for the good that you desire. You cannot put something that you want over something that you haven't gotten rid of yet. Now, this works both on a physical level or on a non-physical level. When I say non-physical, I'm talking about a simple idea. An idea can be considered non-physical. And let me give you an example. A relationship. Let's just say, for example, that you're looking for a relationship. The relationship of your dreams. What well, you will be unable to find that relationship unless you get rid of the old relationship. Now, the person in the old relationship may have already been gone, but if you're still holding on to the idea of that person, you're not going to be able to replace it with the idea of the new one. Now, the idea of the new one, of course, is going to be the one that you really, really want, and believe me, you're going to get it as long as you can focus on it properly and implement all of these ideas that we've presented you got to get rid of the old one. That takes practice. Now, it also works on a physical sense. So anything that you want in life, whether it's a new clothing, it's a new car, a new house, anything that you want in life, you got to get rid of the old one in order to replace it with the new one. Now, don't just wait until you get the new one to get rid of the old one. Get rid of the old one first, and the other one will come to you. You will attract it. Let me give you an example. Your closet. Most of us have many items in our closet that we don't even use. And many of us also want to put new stuff in that closet that fits us better, that looks better, that is more fashionable. But we first have to get rid of the old stuff. Even that stuff that we never use, but it just continues to be there and we never remove it. Just remove it all and it's just a matter of time before you fill back that space. Now, you may be, tempt you may be tempted to do a garage sale and sell this stuff. Well, consider possibly giving it away. There's a law of giving, and the more you give, the more you receive. This one is a hard one to, 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 to grasp on, but it's an important one. It works with, with the many laws of the universe. It, it, it works in conjunction with the, many of the laws of the universe, which I actually have not... I have touched upon them in this series, but I have not shared all of the laws of the universe which I've all learned myself and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you so there you have it the vacuum law of prosperity create a space for the good that you desire and consider giving in order to receive the more you give the more you will receive in fact it so happens that you receive more than what you give so consider those two and I will definitely talk to you soon if you have any
comments or suggestions as to the format or anything else that you want to hear from me, please be so kind to send me a comment, whether in public or privately. You can do it on YouTube. You can do it on Facebook. You can also do it on Instagram. I'm going to leave it at that for now, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.